Christy Glass here with a special video today. I wanted to give you a haul video from a yarn crawl that I went on. Yes, I went to a socially distant mask wearing yarn crawl. Before I start, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. It's the Sherpa Coat by Two of Wands. It has all this amazing hand spun in it, including some knit collage and farm yarn and Alex Creates and all kinds of things. And I will link to a video about this finished object down below. I haven't intentionally yarn crawled in a long time and I wanted to get to know Michigan, Southeast Michigan. I went on the Southeast Michigan Shop Hop 2020 in November and it was so much fun. It had, they spread it out over about 10 days. I don't know what it normally is because it's my first time doing this, but they have this cute little bingo card with all of the participating shops in it and then different bing stamps you can get like purchased a kit invested in needles donated a chemo cap took a selfie at a yarn shop things like that so you turn it into one of the participating yarn shops and you're entered to win the prize so i wanted to take you through my haul this is the first part of my haul because the the yarn shop hop isn't over yet but i have all this yarn sitting here so i wanted to shoot this even though i'm not done yet the first yarn shop i went to was stitch in time and it was this cute older house in fact the woman who has been in business i think for 30 years she lives on top of her yarn shop what a dream and i picked i picked out some really cool stuff there she had everything in every color it felt like you walk in and you're greeted by the jameson wall and there's the cascade wall and the malabrigo and the mon it's just everything is there so i ended up with a little stocking stuffer not yarn some unique socks in the Christmas colorway stripes. I don't know, will I ever knit socks? I don't know, but I definitely, if I'm gonna have a pair of hand knit socks, I need to have a pair of Christmas socks for sure. She had a wide array of wobble gobble and this one was just speaking to me. This is called Tulip. Isn't it beautiful? Wobble gobble yarn. I think she had four different kits of this, the Crown Wool's Rainbow Kit by Casa Pinka, and the yarn is Dream, smushy with cashmere. So I picked this up too, isn't it so pretty? The next one I went to is called Unwind and they had this Baby Yoda crochet that was so cute and I've already made a Baby Yoda with felt but I feel like I probably wanna make one or two more so and this was the perfect Baby Yoda color. So I got these and then they had this, so these are um, Encore Plymouth Yarn Co. And these are, I don't know, are these acrylic? These are 7525 acrylic wool. And then this is the Barocco Pirouette in its alpaca merino wool and nylon. And it kind of has this like texture to it. So this is good baby Yoda making materials right here that I picked up. And I meant to get eyes, but I think we got distracted and I, I didn't purchase any. And I love these stitch markers. These are stunning. String. These are from Stunning String, who was a sponsor of my Rhinebeck video a couple years ago. The Hexacon Gold stitch markers. I think they're so pretty. And they had, I think they had like black maybe and silver too. I love these gold ones. My favorite flavor of soap is Yuzu, Y-U-Z-U. So I picked up some of that because I don't always see it in yarn shops and I had to have some of that. They had all of these little extras from a wool tasting in a little basket, which I thought was a nice thing. You could just pop in your bag after you make a purchase. And as part of the yarn crawl, I think they were giving away some things. So I have this big blue mama, how much yarn do I need graph. So it has like the weight and then what you wanna make. So let's say I wanted to make medium weight socks. I need 375 yards. I also had my eyes peeled for a DK weight yarn that would go with the Bad Wolf Girl unicorn sweater because I already have some rainbow for that, for the yoke. And so I needed the body base and then um, the color of the unicorn. I was really, really pleased to find this. This is from Treasure Dust DK. The website is thiscraftorthat.com and it's sparkle. Can you tell? It's sparkly and it's black. So it's going to be an awesome contrast with the rainbow and the unicorn and the yolk. I think the color is called Void. And so I was really, really pleased that she had a sweater's quantity for me. I just needed four skeins. I think she might've had six. And then I was thinking, do local yarn shop owners get so 
dismayed when someone buys just four out of the six. I only needed four. So I was really happy to find this. And then of course I got some white because I already have some sparkle white. So I think I'm gonna hold them double. So this is Universal Yarns Bella Cash, which is merino and um, nylon and cashmere. I didn't realize this had cashmere in it but it's really soft and squishy and it's like a white color. Okay, next up we went to a place in Ann Arbor called Spun and I think Ann Arbor has a lot to offer and apparently there's this famous deli called Zingerman's and I have to say they make these candy bars and I'm not a huge candy bar person but I do love chocolate. So I got the variety pack and my favorite one is called Wowza. This is called What the Fudge. I actually haven't tried them all yet but the ones I have tried are very excellent so I can recommend going to Zingerman's for a little candy bar chocolate situation and I want to show you what I picked up at Spun this making I had seen the pattern in here on both Paula Pereira and also Susan B Anderson's feed these little love owls are they not so cute there's these little tiny owls the patterns in here and then Paula's sweater. I mean, there's actually a ton of stuff in here. There's even sewing patterns, but this is my first one that I have picked up. Oh, here, here's a better picture of the owls. Isn't that cute? Look at those little owls. And I love the goldenrod vibe of this issue. And I just, I'm looking forward to going through this because I've never had, I've never purchased this before. Here's Paula Pereira's sweater, isn't that pretty? So I had to, in the spirit of this beautiful goldenrod making, oh, it's issue number 10, it's called Intricate. And I'm loving the embroidered mittens. This is a close-up of the embroidered mittens. So in the spirit of that, I got this Lore Wool, Wool as Story from the Fiber Co. And this is, it says Lore slash Happiness. And I don't think it has the color on here unless happiness, oh, the shade name is happiness. So this is, I think, a worsted weight wool, golden rod. So that just totally, I walked in, I saw making, and I was like, yep, I'm going down that rabbit hole right now. And then I just picked up a few one-offs because they were so beautiful. This is called AJHC Wools, which I believe is a local Michigan wool, and this is, Lace weight, it's called Aphrodite and it's alpaca and silk. Isn't that pretty? It's like a cloud. And then I'm gonna get into socks someday. And if I don't, I'm gonna get into using self-striping sock yarn in a garment, like Telly V Knits is working on a book about that. This Vesper sock yarn is from Knitterly Things. And I just think this, these are all my colors. They're all my favorite colors in a skein of yarn. And I had to have it. Isn't it so beautiful? It says bold and beautiful. Love. Next we went to a shop called Artisan Knitworks. At this point in the day, I didn't have much time left. So I only allowed myself 20 minutes at this shop and then 20 minutes at the last one that I went to because there's a lot of driving when you go around Michigan. This was the free gift for the yarn shop hop crawlers, which it's so perfect. It's from Lana Grossa. <laughs> This is the free gift that we got and I'm obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. And I picked up, she had a lot of, I would say what set her apart from the other yarn shops is she had a lot of hand spun and a lot of really unique fibers in the yarn. So this really stood out to me. It's the Radically, so Artisan Networks Radically Wearable Designs, that's her shop. And this is hand spun by Kitty Rogers in Michigan. It's Merino Silk Firestar Bamboo Surrey Silk, and it's 169 yards. So I really thought I could do something special with this amount of yarn. And if you just look in there, I mean, it just, you can tell, it's just got a lot of fun going on there. And I haven't purchased, you know, a ton of hand spun at, at this yarn crawl, so I thought I would splurge and get some local, local, local yarn. No regrets. Finally, we ended up at Michigan Fine Yarns and she had so much yarn and she had stuff that you can't get anymore. I think she has every single shade of Koigu. She had specialty yarns. She had, I mean, the store was massive. 
So I didn't have a ton of time to go through it, but I got a few treasures. So my daughter has started knitting and I hope she doesn't watch this video. If you're watching, stop watching. But I thought a little stocking stuffer of a koigu tubular cowl uh, situation here. So it's a bunch of different koigus all combined into one cake. And you can see there's a little pattern on it for this tubular cowl. I just think for a new knitter, it's fun to see how the wool changes, you know, with the colorways and it's really motivating. So I thought that was a fun stocking stuffer for her. And then I have the remains of one of these already, the Kid Silk Haze Eclipse in the color, <laughs> I don't see the color. It's my colors and it's sparkle mohair and they don't make it anymore. And a little goes a long way and I have about a quarter of a skein, so I just bought her last two because maybe someday I can do something with it. This is in my As If Tea in the Yoke and I think it's so beautiful. And then I'm working on this other sweater that requires a little, it's called the Fjord. It requires a little like corsage made out of mohair and I, I don't have the mohair yet. So I picked this up as a possible contender and this is the Kid Silk Haze Glamour and it has sequins in it that are sort of silvery sparkly, which I'm sure you can't see on the camera, but it's really, really stunning. Everyone is giving little free gifts. Oh, look, it's a little Michigan Fine Yarns. It's a little regia, like a little baby regia sock yarn. That's so cute. And some buttons, little gold buttons. That is so sweet. Full disclosure, I don't know what I was wearing in the first half of this Michigan yarn crawl video. So I did do some more yarn crawling and I wanted to show you what I picked up. So first of all, I picked up this really cute fingering weight skein, it's called Jawbreaker, and the brand is called La Jolla, L-J-B, and I got this at Have You Any Wool. I also picked up a pom-pom by Big Bad Wool, and it has a snap on the back, so you can unsnap it and snap it back together. So that was fun to pick up a little something there. I went to a shop called The Yarn Stop, and I found this gorgeous Ella Ray Silky Kid in navy. And I know navy isn't really my color, but I remember doing an interview with the Wandering Flock, Geraldine, and she was wearing this sweater that she'd held double with a dark blue. It was such a cool effect seeing the dark mohair mixed with the lighter indie dyed skein. So I got four skeins of this. I don't know when it will appear in my knitting, but I wanted to get a sweater's quantity so that I could mix it in. I thought that'd be really fun. I mentioned earlier that my daughter's getting into knitting and I do want my knitting space and my knitting room to be a place where people can come and maybe take home a project if they need to. So I thought this Noro, I was really drawn to it. I thought it was so beautiful. It's this Noro natural fiber. Let's see, what can I tell you about this? It's in Japanese, <laughs> but it appears to be like a worsted weight giant ball and Noro is so much fun to see how the colors change. So I purchased it thinking maybe someone would want to cast on a scarf or a hat or something and maybe it will be something else but I just was really drawn to it and thought it was so pretty so I picked that up at the yarn stop as well. Then I went to a place called Unique Knits and at Unique Knits I saw this gorgeous sample. It was a blanket made of the big wool from Rowan and I've used the big wool in the past. And I have a relationship with Rowan and I'm, I'm guessing they would have gladly given me some of their big wool, but I wanted to support the local yarn shop in the moment. And I don't want to spoil what I'm working on, but I'll just show you the combination of the skeins that I got. So I got a variety of skeins here. They're already in use because I was so excited about this project I had to cast on. This is the color of my sweater, big surprise, that I've already made. So these are the, the six colors. And actually she had even more than six colors in her blanket but this is the fabric it's making. Isn't that beautiful? So stay tuned on that. But the big wool is so much fun to work with. Going back to the yarn stuff, they also had these little tiny 50 mohair shades and you can get, this is 20 grams of mohair. And I picked this up hoping it would match what I got at Woolly & Co. And Woolly & Co. had the Cocon Pink. So there's this sweater that is made by Cocon Blue and I want to make it in the pink and then there's a mohair requirement so I hope this is the right mohair but you saw I also picked up like a cream one with sequins so I'm going to do some experimenting to see 
where and how I use the mohair, but these are Aran Waite limited edition, and I picked up a crochet hook as well, and then another pom-pom in a navy. So it's the big bad wool with the snap, and I picked that up as well. So I had an epic, epic yarn crawl. I didn't need any of this really, but I love knitting, I love crocheting, I love talking about it, I love bringing it to you, and I think it's really, really important to support local yarn shops right now. So I went with an open heart and an open mind and an open wallet, and I purchased some things to add to my arsenal. Thank you so much, as always, for checking in here at Christy Glass Knits, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.